We're cracking some packs, boys. <laughs> Stupidest intro. All right, I got a little bit of an intro to go into, so if you're an impatient patty and you want to just get straight to the pack opening, you can go ahead and go to this timestamp. People are crazy into Pokemon cards lately. I myself have not opened a pack of Pokemon cards, or I think any legitimate trading cards, since like 2005. I did that Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening a couple years ago, but I knew that those were fake, so I don't count that. As far as legit trading card openings, it's been a long time. I think I may have opened some Magic cards in like 2000. It doesn't matter. Anyway, for me personally, Pokemon cards are not something that I have purchased or opened or partaken in in a long time. Right now, these things are selling like crazy. It's really hard to find booster packs at retail price, at least without going into a physical store and hunting around. As far as online, GameStop, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, all sold out. On Amazon, you can find booster packs, but they're gonna be at a hiked up price from a third party seller. People are just super into Pokemon right now. You can find Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you can find Magic cards, it's really hard to find Pokemon cards. I think a lot of that is from the fact that a lot of people are reselling the cards and the fact that there are a lot of YouTube videos revolving around opening the packs. And it seems to me like Pokemon pack openings seem to be doing really well. So you know Portly is going to get in on that. So I have six packs here. I managed to score these from BestBuy.com. Just totally lucked out. They were limit two per customer, so I got two of each of these different packs. We have two Vivid Voltage packs with Celebi and me. Two Rebel Clash packs with the, the Fire Starter from Sword and Shield, whose name escapes me. I actually had this one in the game, but I, I can't remember his name. And then these two, there was the, uh, the Fire Tapeworm and the Ugly Goblin Gorilla thing. I totally played Sword and Shield, and yet for the life of me, I cannot seem to remember any of the new Pokemon's names. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack these bad boys open. But if you'll excuse me, the impatient patty should be coming in right about now. <clears throat> well, 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 look who decided to join us. Okay, so here we are, all six packs. I think I'm gonna start with Rebel Clash just cause they're, it, it's in front. I've never seen these sleeved packs before. I'm gonna try to be a little careful here. Careful, how did, careful. Just gonna pull it out there and there's the pack itself you know what? i'm just gonna take these all out of the cardboard now i'm just gonna do that now okay so those are the actual packs in the cardboard and already the pokemon that are actually on the packs are different from a couple of them are different from the ones on the cardboard and it feels like i've been lied to so i'm gonna return these and not open them because that is false advertising okay fine we'll open we'll open a couple of Do not want to open. Oh, I'm gonna get scissors. Should I? Am I gonna be a, an old man and get scissors? Yes, I am. Okay, first one is open, and this is that's a code there for unlocking a booster pack on the online card game, which I'll probably do because I cannot see myself playing the game in person anytime soon. I'm just gonna blast through these because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read all of them because I'll be here forever. Barboach, Aracuda, Stuffle. I like Stuffle. Lotad, Growlithe, that's awesome. Sick, uh, okay. Durant, ooh, is that? It's like a reverse hollow? That's pretty cool. That is an uncommon? Is that normal? Uh, I guess maybe because it's steel type. Maybe it's normal for it, it to, uh. ah! <laughs> this is totally going well. I guess maybe because it's steel type, it's normal for it to be shiny, but that is definitely an uncommon. If, assuming that the rarity icons are the same as they always have been. And there is apparently our rare already, Galarian. Runerigus? I, I I know this Pokemon. I have this Pokemon. I don't know if I'm saying the name correctly. Not holographic. The shiniest card in this pack is Durant, and it was uncommon. This is a different game from back in my day. Fire energy card? I, I've always liked looking at the energy cards. They're just so pretty to look at. Ooh, a Morgrim. I've never... I don't think I've ever had a dark Pokemon card even back in the day. I really like the colors of the dark Pokemon cards. Cool. There's a Palpitoad. Emperor Palpitoad. And a scoop up net. Put one of your Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon V or Pokemon GX into your hand. Discard all attached cards. See, Pokemon, I'm sure the game has changed to some extent, but I feel like it's at least not like Yu-Gi-Oh has changed where so much is different now. I feel like Pokemon, at least from what I've seen recently, is still Pokemon. It's still the same game that it always was. Next pack. Well, there's Impidimp. 
So if I wanted to evolve into the next one, I could. So that's nice. Shinx, I do like Shinx. Sandigas, that is interesting. The art is really cool though, look at that. Oh, should I be showing the art? Guys, let me know in the comments. Be nice, this is my first, obviously my first Pokemon <laughs> um, unpacking. I might do more, so just let me know if there's anything I could do to make it better for you guys. I'm learning as I go, like I did with the keyboard videos. That is Roly Coley. Stunky. I guess dark Pokemon are common now. Is it, It's been so long that to me, dark Pokemon were like always kind of rare, and the energies just to use them were like hollows. Binnacle. That's a common holographic. Is that is that new? Is that a normal thing? Again, this is all new to me. Let me know in the comments. I have a lot to learn. And there's Arcanine. Heck yeah. Cool. That is a pretty sick Arcanine. This Pokemon has a burning scarf attached. It gets plus 100 HP. Water energy. Water always was my favorite, even in the games. But I always liked to use water Pokemon. Wait, is the Arcanine rare? Oh, the Arcanine was the rare. Cool, I didn't even notice. I don't like how they have the rares in the middle of the pack. The rares should be at the end. Am I, am I incorrect in that? It's like the main event. Electrode. Beware, so that's, that my Snuffle could evolve into that, very nice. And Palisand, so I can evolve, where's the other, was it the last pack? Wherever the Sandcastle was, I can evolve into that now. All right, next we have two Darkness Ablaze packs. I'll go with this one because it's a less cool Pokemon. I never liked this Goblin dude, he's ugly, but I guess he's cool. But we'll go with the, the freaking Fire Centipede. Is it lame that I'm opening these with scissors? Is it cringy? Are you guys wincing right now? I'd rather do that than like bend the cards by trying to force the pack open. It just did not want to open. We start with Galarian Mr. Mime. All right, I love the art on that card. Galarian Mr. Mime is pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Especially when he evolves and has the top hat and the cane. I'm all about that. Electrike. Dano, or is it Dino? D a dark. Dragon type Pokemon. I like him and the his evolution chain in the games. Pessimian. Call for family. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon. Put them on your bench. Bunnelby. Okay. Another shiny common. I guess it is a normal thing, at least now. That's my spirit Pokemon right there. Oh! No way! Look at that! That is a Mew the X Ball. This attack does 30 damage for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. This is freaking sick. Look at that. I was hoping I would get at least one really cool card in this opening, and here we are on pack number three, and I got a freaking Mew. That is sick. Fire energy. Vanillish. Shin Shinotic? I, I know, I've seen this Pokemon and I hate it, I just don't know how to pronounce the name. Ursaring. Awesome, that's a pretty cool art for Ursaring with his- look at those huge claws! That's pretty sick. That is awesome. I'm really excited about that Mew. Where'd he go? You gotta be careful with this. That is freaking Smurf. It can only go uphill or downhill from from here, which is true for anything. So next pack. Next we have Shelmet. I like Shelmet. He's okay. Larvitar, sick. I like Larvitar. Grimer. Ooh, a dark type Grimer. That's cool. Galarian Darumaka. This is usually a fire type, right? Pretty sure. Either way, I like that art. It's a cute little design. Centrit. I'm seeing a lot of Pokemon I recognize. I mean, I, again, I play all the games, so I'm talking about like, it's nice everyone to like see the new ones mixed in with some of the old ones. Manectric, cool. So my Electric that I got in the last pack can evolve into this. And this is, oh, this is actually a rare hollow. So there it is, that's cool. Flash Impact. This attack also does 30 damage to one of your benched Pokemon. Okay, but 150 base damage, that's pretty cool. Grand Bull. I like that Grand Bull. It's kind of cool. Fighting Energy card. Rose Tower. Once during each player's turn, that player may draw cards until they have three cards in their hand. It's a stadium card, okay. I'm, ass I'm assuming that's similar to like a field card in Yu-Gi-Oh. And Steeny. And... Deden? Dedene? It's a, it occurs to me now that even though I know these Pokemon, I don't know how to say a lot of their names. Alright, we're down to the last two. The ones with uh, my self-portrait on the cover. And I'm feeling good about these. So let's uh, let's open them. Let's open them up. First we have Clobopus. That's kind of cute. There's another Electric. Cool, alright. I like the art on this one. Execute. Classic. Seed Bomb. This kind of sucks. Oh, it's an Eevee. I mean, it's just, it's like, it's not a great card, but I mean, I just love Eevee. And we have a Woobat, one of the worst Pokemon. And then we have a Hollow 
Milcery. Milkery? Milcery? Whatever it is. Milkery maybe? Because it's a cream Pokemon? Can't even read that text. <gasps> no way. Another Alakazam V? That is sick. Zen Spoon. Put three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. <laughs> I know it means like any of their Pokemon, but I just picture like literally choose. Do you want to throw the damage counter? Do you want to put it on the card with your mouth? Mind Ruler. This attack does 30 damage for each card in your opponent's hand. Oh, this is a basic. Is it because up until very recently, Kadabra was not in the game because of that one magician who like would sue them for having them in the card game? I don't know. Either way, very cool card. I'm scared to touch it. Another Water Energy. Alistair. Supporter card. Draw three cards. If you drew any cards in this way, discard up to three cards from your hand. You must discard at least one card. Ooh, Metang. If I get a Metagross in the last pack, I'm gonna flip. Kakuna, all right. Very nice. And we got the last pack here. And I, it hasn't been disappointing with those two, uh, the Mew and the Alakazam. Let's see what we've got next. We've got Ninkata, Picky Peck, with... <laughs> With the attack, peck. All right. Pugiana, sick. Okay. I like this. It's no Growlithe, but it'll do. <gasps> Speaking of dogs, we have Rockruff. Is that, what is that in its hair? Is it like a flower? Oh, it's the little hummingbird Pokemon is on its paw. That's cute. Blitzel. It's a pretty cute design for that one. Fortress. Okay, not a banger. Not a banger on the last pack, but it's all good. That's our rare hollow there, Fortress. Too rare. Okay, now this isn't even, this is a rip. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> really? Well, I'll take it, I guess. Then we have a fire energy. A Krokorok. Aromatic energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides grass energy. The grass Pokemon this card is attached to recovers from all special conditions and can't be affected by any special conditions. That's pretty cool. And we have Galvantula. Gal uh, no, Galvantula, which is a neat Pokemon too. Cool, well, there it is. And here they are, six packs, 60 cards in total. The most Pokemon cards I have owned in uh, about 16 years. Uh, I guess, I mean, I guess I could get a, could have got one pack and it would have been the most cards in 16 years, but there it is. And there we go. That is three, six, no, six Pokemon card packs all open now for the first time for me in a long time. That was a lot of fun. It brings back that feeling. There's the smell of the cards is still exactly the same as it was back in the 90s, and I feel really old saying that. So that was fun. If I can get my hands on more of these as I go along, maybe I'll do some more uh, pack opening videos in the future. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments. Leave a like, maybe subscribe if you're new. If you guys were into this, I'm, I'm down to do more if I can get my hands on them at a reasonable price because uh, these aren't free. And you know, if you want to see me do other pack openings, maybe Yu-Gi-Oh, I might be down for that as well basically just Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and Pokemon. Maybe Digimon, I think there's a new Digimon card game. I could look into that too. Let me know what you guys want to see, and uh, you know if this video does well enough, maybe I'll continue. We'll, we'll see. But uh, I had some fun, and I hope to have some further fun in the future. With the cards. <laughs> like opening the card. I'm out of here. Bye! <laughs>